Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be checking out this amazing Town Hall 15 base and guys, yes that is an invisibility spell tower in the core of the base and you can guess what's going to happen. It's going to cause our attackers loads of issues. So, we're going to watch a quick replay so you can see the base in action and I know what you're thinking, how did the base do in the Legend League? It did magnificently well. 14 attacks in the Legend League, of those 14 attacks, 5 were 1 star attacks. Uh, you know, especially in the Legend League, guys, this base, I think, will do very, very well. When people don't have a lot of time to prepare, they click attack and they see this base, they're going to think, oh, no. Especially as well, at the moment, we've got loads of sort of Super Archer, Clone, Blimp attacks. They don't like this base. They attack the Town Hall and the Town Hall will go invisible and the Super Archers, will they be able to take it out? It's going to be difficult. Inside the Battle Blimp this time, there were some Yetis. The Queen Walk is still sort of moving towards the Town Hall. And the clan castle troops I used were one ice hound, a headhunter, and four archers. I would say three ice golems would be a good combination as well. Some witches maybe, guys. You can obviously change the clan castle selection. So what's going on there? We've got the queen moving towards that compartment. We've got a particularly nasty compartment on the right-hand side. We've got the monolith, a poison spell tower, and the king and queen as well. Super bowlers are here. The Queen's moving towards the Town Hall now. Can they take out the Town Hall? What do you reckon, guys? Is this going to be sort of a two-star or a one-star attack? The Bowler's moving towards it now. So, I mean, this is looking okay. I mean, it's just a central compartment with the Town Hall there. It's just difficult to take out. And you don't really feel... I'm just being honest here. If I was attacking this base and I had the Battle Blimp ready with Super Archers, I would not want to send it straight to the Town Hall. I just, I'd just, i feel like I'm not going to get much value in sort of that compartment there. Uh, and you've got lots of defences like Multi-Infernos that are can, can, of course, reach towards the Town Hall area as well. And it's been activated, guys! The Invisibility spell has just hidden the Town Hall. And I think, is there a jump spell there? Yes, there is. Now, we need to watch out for the Queen. Is she going to go for the Town Hall? Those Super Bowlers have done well in that compartment. Moving through, the, the Grand Warden's still there. There's boulders flying everywhere. And guys, watch out for Super Bowlers in real life. My next-door neighbour called Dave, he's a Super Bowler. The other day I was woken up, I heard this crash in the back garden. Looked out, he's throwing boulders into my garden shed. It was destroyed. My lawnmower out of action. So just be careful. And there we go. The invisibility spell, remember, recharges. So the town hall say thank you very much. And the queen has made it to that central compartment. But no, the town hall is now invisible and the queen hit the tornado trap. And I think that's it. Uh, the base is okay. So I think this base is a bit different, guys. I think it's going to do very well for you in the Legend League as well. I have made some sort of new amendments to this base. So I've got some more bases based on this base coming out soon so do make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell join the samus army so you don't miss any more sort of base reviews like this so we're going to give the base a score out of 10 guys what do you think i really really like this base so i'm going to be giving it 11 i'm joking not 11 10 out of 10 you can download the base of course there's a link in the video description let me know what you think guys and uh, yeah i'll see you later and guys remember to practice your funneling it's important bye guys